Drop it, drop it, drop it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Can I have it? Look at that paw. She's not giving me the ball. <laughs> On this episode of Suburban Shorts. This is Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. He's the owner of Sirius Canine Academy. Owner of Sirius Canine Academy. <laughs> That's what you wanted? <laughs> Sirius Canine Academy. They train dogs. They teach them how to sit, I guess, and, uh, and heal. Like, I don't know what a dog training facility does, to be honest with you. That's why I'm so interested to go and find out from Chris. The name says it all. We do dog training. The training that we offer is one-on-one -on -one training, board and training, day training, and besides obedience training and regular dog training, we also do behavior rehabilitation. Right? Hey! Well, it's obvious that these were not the dogs that had been trained yet. <laughs> Bella, I know it's you. I saw you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sit. So day training, right, for dogs. It's uh, kind of like me dropping my kids off at school, right, I guess, kind of. Come here through the day, five days a week, Monday to Friday, just like you go to school, you know? Like, most of the day they spend working, quote unquote working, it's training. They're learning. So at the end of the day, you pick up your dog and you learn what they learned, as opposed to I pick up my kids from school and I have no idea what they learned, and then we struggle with homework for like an hour, and then we cry, and they cry, and it's, it's a big mess. In the weekends, well, I get every now and then I get my good students that don't want to leave, and they come back. So let's have a chat with one of these students. Everest, I want you to be honest with me. Everest, Everest, did you learn something here? Is he fair to all the dogs? Does he treat you well? Hey, does he let you use your cell phone during recess? Everest, Everest, no! Good girl, thank you. Okay, the testimonial checks out. So when you walk in, there's a gated area where all the dogs are so they can sit with each other and kind of get used to being with other dogs, but in the back, <laughs> we have another uh, 3,000 square feet in the back. But there we do more of the agility stuff. But I want to try it. Let me get involved. Let me try something. Why shouldn't I? I've spent 20 minutes with Chris. Would you listen to me? Okay, Everest, heel. Okay, up, there we go, over. All right, good. All right, That's good. Encouraging is big part of the game, right? You want to encourage them? Ah. Uh. Not bad. Right? So not only does he do general training, but he does specific training, like rehabilitation and bite training. And that's when he brought out... <clears throat> that? Oh, girl. Ah. Mama. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Dogs bite naturally. That's what they do. They use their mouth for everything. So here we like teaching the dogs when and when not to bite. That way it's not your everyday cushion or your everyday, your, your shoes. Oh. This is black belt dog training right here. Black belt. Out. Good girl. It's a thrill. That's all it is. It's, it's like, yeah, I'm having fun. Oh. Are you getting that audio too? So I'm not the best dog trainer in the world, but I, I think the dogs kind of listen to me. Well, <laughs> this Everest did. Chris and I did okay too. <laughs> what is it? Place. Chris knew a couple of the commands. Place. Damn it, place. <laughs> in conclusion, I think we need to leave the training to the actual professionals, right? Serious Kinan Academy.